There is one habit you have to develop for success. If you want to grow your life and become more successful in any area, you have to grow this one habit. And if you don't, no luck. You're not going to be successful without this one habit. So what is it? Let's find out. Hey there, I want you to turn this video off unless you're ready to be successful. And I mean that seriously because let me tell you, you can't unlearn what I'm about to share with you. And when you learn content, then you're the only reason you're not successful. And I, that was a hard thing for me to learn back in the day. The more content I learned, the more it was on me. But then I realized something else. When I had the content, I had hope. When I had the ideas, I had hope. Yes, it was all on me, but guess who's the only person you can control? You. So if you want to learn the number one way to be successful, you're in the right place. But if you're scared of that knowledge because it's going to put a lot more responsibility on you, probably time to bolt. And I know I'm joking a little bit, but I want to make sure that you get to the level you want and understand how this success game works. Because I spent almost a decade beating myself up for not being to a level because I didn't understand success. I thought I did, but I really didn't. But make sure you watch this video until the end. That's where it all comes together. And on this channel, we really help business owners, real estate investors, entrepreneurs grow their life, grow their income, and make sure they are successful. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that thumbs up button and turn on that bell notification so you get notified every single time we do a video. The number one habit of success is something that I learned as I was growing my business. And what I realized in my business is I was very arrogant. I was very arrogant. I really wanted people to perceive I was successful rather than really wanting people to know the truth so I could become successful. I really projected what I want people to see rather than being the kind of person that could actually grow and become successful. So I tell you this before I give you this one habit. Now stick around to the end because it's all going to come together at the end of how this one habit works and how you can leverage this. But the very one habit of the successful is they will learn from anyone. They will learn from anyone. The story of Kobe Bryant. I was uh, one of the assistant coaches at uh, the LA Clippers was Kevin Eastman. He wrote a forward for my wife's book and uh, he's just, he's a brilliant, brilliant basketball coach. And he was telling a story about Kobe Bryant that Kobe was in his living room and this uh, middle school basketball game came on TV and a little middle schooler was a point guard and he did and he made a move on somebody and Kobe stood up and he's like, that's one of the best moves I have seen. He put a chair in his living room got out of basketball, and he started practicing that move for hours until he could master that specific juke move that got the defense off of him so he could get a shot to the hole. So the idea is you have Kobe Bryant, arguably one of the top five basketball players in the history of the game. Sadly, he passed away a few years ago, but he was brilliant on the court. But why? because he was willing to learn from anyone. There's another story of Kobe where they're practicing on one court, they have another court over here, and he was getting tired, and they're like, all right, Kobe, take a break, and he brought some other practice squad in, and they're running drills, and he went over to the other court where nobody was, and all of a sudden they heard, mine, 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 and he was running the drills over there with no ball and no people, because he, he said, every time I, I am on the court means I can get better. That's the idea of somebody who's obsessed with becoming more successful. He'll learn from anyone. When my wife and I are hiring in our companies, there's one thing, the, oh, there's one overarching thing we look for, and it's teachability. Are they willing to learn? Because here's the interesting thing, and it's kind of a mind bender. You can't teach teachability because it takes teaching to do so, right? You can't teach teachability because it teach, takes teaching to do so. So somebody has to, be, has to be, have a learner spirit to even become teachable or something in their life has to shift them there. And so if you want to take your level, your life to the next level, you have to be willing to learn from anyone. So what this means is, and this is something I learned from Dan Kennedy, who's a brilliant marketer, the first thing of how you, how you learn from anyone is you have to be the dumbest person in every room. And I say that as gracious and loving as possible. And Dan would, in true Dan Kennedy fashion, was just kind of a no BS guy, would say, you've gotta be the dumbest person in every room. And his idea there, it was a brilliant concept. It means if you're always hanging out with people that you make more money in and your life is, is further along then, you're never gonna be pushed to be better. You wanna be in a room that makes you feel really unsuccessful because those are the ideas that will lift you up. If you make 50,000 and you wanna make 100,000, you can't hang out with $50,000 people. You're only getting $50,000 ideas. You gotta hang out with $100,000 people. Then you'll start, you'll get $100,000 ideas. The idea is that you have to be the dumbest person in every room. I was in a mastermind a couple weeks ago 
And uh, there was a speaker there who's 39 years old. He's two years younger than me. He's 39 years old. He's worth about $300 million. He owns two planes, a big company. He actually had somebody pay him $50,000 to take a company from him three years ago that's now worth about $198 million. That's the kind of people I want to be around. I want to be around people that tell me how to level up the brain. You need to be able to learn from everybody and that takes being willing to be the dumbest person in every room. Now, I will be very honest. I struggled with this for the longest time. The longest time. When I got around people that were much more successful than me, it really discouraged me. And I got down on myself. Man, Mike, you're not really doing much. You're not doing anything. You, 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 you're working so hard and you're not successful. And I really got down. It used to really crush me. But when I started to really focus on working on myself, now it became an inspiration it became an inspiration rather than a discouragement. When I became teachable and I said, no, just teach me. I don't need you to think I'm, I just wanna learn so I can grow. All of a sudden, it became an inspiration, not a discouragement. So being in those rooms takes you being willing to be honest. Don't say you've done things you haven't done. Don't talk about like, oh, I'm doing this and I'm trying to give people your resume. I hate that, by the way. I go to events and people wanna impress you and they give you their resume. I don't really care. I want to know what kind of person you are first. I, I really don't care what you've accomplished. I care about you. And yeah, we can talk business and talk about what you're doing and what you're up to. Great. But your resume, I guarantee you, your resume won't impress most people that are successful. And I'll tell you why. They already know somebody more successful than you. So your resume just hurts you. So don't do that. The number two thing is ask a lot of questions. And it leads me to this. the, the, the next one is you want to learn from everybody? Stop giving answers. Start asking questions. How'd you do that? Like, where, where did you find that? Where, how, did, how did you even think to do that? Do you have a team? Start asking questions so you can grow in your ability to really become successful. So start asking questions. I love that there's a verse in the Bible that says, be very quick to hear and slow to listen. That's because you have two ears, one mouth for a reason. We need to be doing 100% more listening than we do talking, right? And this is the idea that the successful no, it's amazing. I was listening to a podcast between Tim Ferriss and a very, very prolific writer uh, that was in the industry, Gary Keller. In the uh, that was uh, one of the Keller Williams. If you know Keller Williams Realty, he's that's Keller. He uh, he started Keller Williams. Brilliant man. He came on there. He's worth hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. He's brilliant, brilliant investor, entrepreneur. Written some great books. Wrote the wrote the book The One Thing, one of my favorite books I've read. And he was talking, and when he came on with Tim. It was funny. Tim was there to interview this guy that's worth so much money. And Gary asked Tim questions. Tim, how do you pick what books to read? And he was asking him questions. And I'm sitting here thinking, here you have somebody who's worth hundreds of millions of dollars asking this host questions. Now, Tim Ferriss is successful too, but I'm asking this host questions. And I'm sitting here thinking, that's how we got there. That's how we got there. He got there by wondering, having a state of wonder around everybody, around everybody. You want to know. In fact, I was sitting down. My, 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 our family came here a few months ago, and my nephew loves shoes, loves shoes, right? And I'm not really a shoe guy. But I wanted to buy a cool pair of shoes, so I had him sit down. I said, all right, Jude, show me how to buy shoes. What, what am I looking for? What should I be buying? What should I be looking at? He showed me a couple sites to be looking at because he knows about it a lot more than I do. He's 15. You have to be willing to learn from everybody. And if you want to go take that next level of success, you have to become more humble. It's interesting. The way up is always down. It's becoming more humble and receptive. That's the way we reach the top. And that's what I want you to see with this number one key of success. And the third thing, and the way you learn from everybody, is you listen, listen, listen. And I know I just said that, but there's a, new, there's a nuance I want you to see. When I go to events and people are talking, I, I cannot tell you how many times over the years I just interrupted somebody to share that I know what they're talking about. I do this all the time. And I'm thinking, I need to listen more and talk less. And let me tell you, one of the ways to become a learner is when you go to somebody, ask them questions, ask them questions. People love to talk about themselves. Let them. You become the listener. In fact, I have a 24-hour challenge from you, for you. I have a 24-hour challenge. In 24 hours, you're not allowed to talk about yourself unless somebody asks you a question. For 24 hours, you can only ask people questions. And if they ask you a question, you can certainly answer. But the goal is to get you focused on extracting information from other people. Asking, yes, yeah, so where'd you grow up? How you doing? So when you're at networking events, always ask, 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 instead of try to tell, 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 tell. I get, I get a lot more business by asking questions than giving answers. Again, you have to become a listener and talk less. 
That's the way you position yourself to learn from everyone. I can tell you that this has changed my life. That's why I want to shoot this video. I really want to help you see how do you become the kind of person that somebody can pour into. Because a lot of times we want people to pour into us, into us, but we put a lid on the top of the jar. Put a lid on the top of the jar, people can't pour in. And so that, that jar is, we're closed off. We, we think we know it instead of being open to anybody and everybody that has a, a something to teach. And believe me, everybody does, including you. So if you want to get to the top and raise a success, you got to be willing to learn from anyone. But before you leave today, post in the comments if you're willing to take the 24-hour challenge and ask questions for 24 hours and not talk about yourself. I want to know if you're willing to take the challenge, and then I want to know how it goes. Post in the comments. Let me know if you're brave enough to take on that challenge. And also, we have a lot of videos around success, creating money, investing in real estate, and building a life on this channel. So make sure you peruse the channel and get the amount of videos you need to reach the level you want. I'll see you in the next one.